In this video we will proceed with charts in Locker Studio and in this one I'm gonna show you how to create tree map. So let me remove those donor charts and now let's go to add a chart and then we will need to find tree map. In this tree map section you will be able to see tree map chart. Let's click on that one and let's place it here. Okay, based on those values that Looker Studio provided we cannot see anything so I'm gonna change first dimension and instead of order date which doesn't make sense to be included in this chart I'm gonna include product category. Instead of order quantity I'm gonna include sales. So what we have here? If I resize this chart we will be able to see different areas in this chart. So first one is as you can see computers. That's the biggest area that we can see that means basically that computers has the highest sales. If I go to cameras, that's the number two regarding sales. TV and video is number three. Cell phones four. Music, movies and audio books, it's five. And then we have number six, only audio. So based on these areas, you can distinct which one is the highest and which one is the lowest. So it's a nice visualization. So for example, if I add regions instead of, let me click first on this chart. So if I add regions, instead of product category, we will be able to see that we have the highest sales in North America, then we have Asia and then Europe. Now let's see what options we have with this chart. We have the drill down option. Again, we will not work on that option now. We have this total rows option. We can choose number of rows, then default date range filter and so on. That's already familiar for us. So I'm gonna proceed with style. Again, we can show title here. Now this is new section specific for this chart and basically this is tree map section. In this section we can provide max color value, mid color value and mean color value. If I click on this one, if I provide green for example, for this one yellow and then if I provide red for this one, we will be able to provide some conditional formatting for our chart. So if I go to setup, if instead of region if I provide product category again, Let's see what we will get. We will be able to see based on colors what are the product categories that we are selling the most. If I go to style, I can remove this header. Also we can add show scale. We can modify this text, background and border again and basically those are all options that we have with this chart. Okay, with this, I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.